right now. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, this is Dr. S and Dr. Sarah, right? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys probably remember them from my surgery, and I'm so excited to be able to like chat with you guys after surgery, which a lot of people don't get to do. You know. Um, which is crazy because you know when we come here, we know that there's really not too much follow up with your surgery, particularly. Um, the company does keep us, you know, updated and they follow up with us as far as our recovery process. But a lot of people don't really get to talk to the person that actually did the surgery. So I am like really doing well. And a lot of people um, have a lot of concerns when they come from the U.S. to Mexico. So I'm just trying to share my experience to like ease their minds and let them know like it's all the same, right? It's just a different country. So I have a couple questions. Um, and you just went over my barium. <laughs> I did a new barium test, and so Dr. S was saying that I have good restriction. Good restrictions. Right. So one of the questions a lot of people want to know about the sleeve is about how big is the stomach after? And we know, like you guys use the terms like percentages. So like you take about 80% of the stomach out. Cause I remember you told me that, that you took about 80% of mine. But um, can you show us the tool that you use to kind of set the stomach? The, yeah. Curious. This is the tool. Yeah. It's una bujía de 34 francs. Yeah, it's a special tool that we use to measure how much of your stomach we're going to cut. So it's a prox of, well, it's a 30, 34, 34 French. French. Yeah. 34. But this is the chill that we use. That's so cool. So when, we, when we're when we left with whatever is there after the stomach is taken out, um, food-wise, how much after, like, the stomach, how much can the stomach stretch? So once the, the bougie, is bougie? Yeah. Once it's set in there and the stomach is sealed, um, expansion wise because it's still a muscle right so does it stay that size or over time does it stretch back out or can it okay. cuando hacemos el corte eh, realmente el estómago todavía se distiende un poquito porque el tejido es elástico el tejido del estómago eh, y eh, queda así por un buen tiempo como el paciente va comiendo por supuesto el tejido se va haciendo un poquito más grande la manga gástrica ¿no? eh, aquí por ejemplo vemos en el estudio de sierra pues que aún está con el mismo diámetro del día de la cirugía entonces dura aproximadamente tres años en volver a crecer un poquito más el diámetro de esta <laughs> yeah, I know it's a lot to translate. <laughs> but well, um, he was saying that um, the the stomach, you know, like it's a lot of muscle. At the beginning, it was still like the the, the same diameter, okay, that we use for the book. It takes approximately like three years to get like a lot of a little bit more of strength, okay. So it also depends on the intake of the food that you're having, okay. So um, if you're taking like a more food than you usually do, it can get bigger. But, uh, but yeah. you don't want to do that. No, you no, want to stick to <laughs> your vegetables and your protein. Yeah. For and your uh, very good vegetables and your protein. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what are you saying? You're saying he was saying the diameter of my sleeve now, so I'm not. It's the same from the beginning. 
that we use uh, with the boogie uh -huh. is the same way. So nine months it's later, my sleeve is the same size. It's the same size. It's those things, it's the <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So, what are the um? Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Salam. Gracias. Ahorita le marco. No, no. Ahorita le marco. Gracias, David. Okay. No, no siempre. No es. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. So we, it's fine. We got. I can make it. I can fix that. So um, a very important question that a lot of people want to know is how many people are a part of the surgical team, and what's each person's role? Okay. ¿Cuántos somos y cuál es el rol? Okay. Es generalmente bueno en nuestro equipo somos todos somos los que estamos ahí que somos médicos excepto nuestra enfermera asistente, pero todo el equipo está conformado por puros médicos. Eh, dos asistentes médicos, el cirujano y eh, pues la transición eh, y cada uno pues tiene sus papeles diferentes dentro del quirófano y fuera de ellos. Okay, uh, the all of the members of Doctors of Salus Chief are uh, doctors except by the nurse that is with us during the... Somos un equipo de cinco bueno, hay cuatro médicos. We are four doctors in Dr. S team and one nurse. Okay, so five total. So, yes. so we have Dr. S who's performing the surgery yes. and then two medical assistants. Two medical assistants. That way we are the... All doctors. All doctors. Right. <laughs> and the anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist and then a nursing assistant, yes. which probably helps to move, like help with tools and passing yes. things. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so five people making sure you're safe and sound yeah. and everything goes well. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, the only other thing that I really want to know is what made you choose bariatrics? Like, why did you choose to be a bariatrics? Good question. Well, realmente, a mí me encantó la la bariatría. Realmente lo que me empezó a gustar fue la cirugía laparoscópica, que es una cirugía de mínima invasión. Este, se me hizo muy importante cómo la tecnología pues, ayuda bastante a, a realizar los procedimientos quirúrgicos. Y en sí la bariatría me gustó por la complejidad. Realmente cada cirugía es un reto. Es un, un gran reto para nosotros porque es una cirugía compleja. Eh, y, y, y eso pues, a uno como médico le llama mucho la atención, ¿no? como cirujano. He was saying that at first he was really interested in laparoscopic surgery, but then uh, he noticed that the um, bariatric surgery is a really complex surgery, so that's why he really was interested in this kind of surgery, because of the, uh, of the patients that we used to work with. And, uh, and also it's a big challenge for him, so. Well, I when I was here, I told everyone that. Thank God, thanks. But um, I told everyone that you came, you came and saw me five times when I was here, and that was so like special to me because I read online that a lot of times you know you don't get to see the surgeon too much after your surgery. Did I? Did you? Did you get it? Because I don't want to keep going. I don't want, I want to give her too much. <laughs> Dice que, por ejemplo, que en otros lugares el cirujano ve muy seguido a los cirujanos después de, de las operaciones. Pero con ustedes, pues sí, yo logro ver cinco veces después de las cirugías. Like, it just meant a lot to me. Que so, significó mucho para ella. Oh, porque, sí. Todo, realmente todos los pacientes, eh, pues sí vienen y se extrañan por esa situación que constantemente estamos revisando a nuestro paciente, ¿no? Y no solo yo, sino todo el equipo quirúrgico vamos eh, durante el transcurso del día eh, a visitar a nuestro paciente y realmente lo hacemos para, en caso de que hubiera alguna complicación, detectarlo oportunamente y, por supuesto, pues ver que el paciente esté eh, pues en las mejores condiciones posibles. ¿no? Y yo creo que la atención pues es lo más, lo más importante eh, para nuestros pacientes, ¿no? Para darle, una, bueno, darle la atención <laughs> so yeah, a lot of patients are 
are like really sur surprised of the attention that we give to the patients because of the visits we do just after the surgery. And this is because not only him, you know, like all the medical staff, we just keep an eye on the patients to see if there's any um, complications during their, their stay. So if we just capture some of them, we just try to fix it at the moment. So that's why we just keep in touch with the patients and make them feel comfortable. Yes, and I felt very, very comfortable. So comfortable that I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> I do from the bottom of my heart thank you for doing a great job on my sleeve and I mean it's li it's literally just been nine months and I'm already down 115 pounds. That is great. That is crazy. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you too. Oh you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice to see you again. You too. Thank y'all so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> That was easy, see? Yeah. <laughs> this is the new... But I love to uh, translate that into English. Oh, thank you. Y'all are really good at what y'all do. <laughs> That's crazy that my sleeve is still the same as when I got it. That is insanity. <laughs> I just got to interview Dr. S. He's so awesome. <laughs>